but after my nap, I always watch the kangaroo song. It's overtime right now. Kangaroo song. Kangaroo song. Kangaroo song. Kangaroo song. All right! We've been counting down the top black video game characters of all time. One for each day in Black History Month. Follow or subscribe to make sure you get a new character each day as they come out. Ranking in at number three, Lee Everett from Telltale's The Walking Dead series. The Solace. You know, I'm actually a little surprised that nobody requested him in the comments. I thought for sure at least one person would, but nobody seemed to ask. Since y'all clearly don't know him, Lee is the protagonist of the first season of The Walking Dead, and he's one of the best black video game characters of all time. Lee is incredibly likable and malleable because he's based on player choice, making him helpful to others and idealistic, or selfish and cynical. Shining through either path, however, is his intelligence and how much he cares for Clementine, his counterpart in the game. Lee's care for her is not only his redemption arc for how his own family was broken apart, but she serves as a moral compass for him in her reaction to his decisions. Basically, no matter what you do, he's gonna be a caring figure for Clem. And despite character choice determining how good or bad he is, he retains enough of his own flavor to keep him from being just an empty robot. And that's kind of what makes him special. He's a former professor who's given a life sentence in prison for killing a state senator that was sleeping with his wife. Not the best look, but I mean, I get it. Lee's arc ends in a powerful and memorable way at the end of the season, but his time spent throughout the game has an impact that resonates far beyond the events of that season. Lee isn't just a good black character, he's a good character, period. Blackness be damned. Now the Dread. As much as we like Lee in this series, we look at the good and the bad, the solace and the dread. And Lee is not without dread. He is far from perfect. Lee is a good character, but spoiler alert, he dies at the end of the first season, hurting his screen time ratio quite a bit, and he actually hurts the games that come after. Maybe it's just my opinion, but I think they pulled him out just a little too quick. Also, due to the nature of the design of the game, there's very little control of the character, and when you do control him, well, it kind of sucks. As far as representation goes, I mean, come on, they just had to make him a murderer that was locked up in the back of a squad car, huh? Lastly, his aesthetic is good, but it's nothing to write home about. He's just a dude. Lee is very much a redemption arc, but even the best of our representation still had to be a cliche. Still though, he's an impressive character and we need more characters like him at the front of games.